he goes? No, I mean, this, when the Royal Commission first started, I had someone who worked in aged care tell me, anyone who tells you they're not making money out of aged care is either lying or incompetent. Now, I don't know how true that was, but it seems to be that the Royal Commission's finally come around to looking at that. Initially, the Royal Commission said it wouldn't do the forensic analysis of the accounting of what was going on in aged care. Uh, now it seems to be doing that. They've actually had two accounting firms have a look at the aged care uh, funding. Uh, one of them, I think, Stuart Brown, says that most aged care providers are not making a profit, and the other one said that three quarters of them are. So uh, BDO had a look. Now, if you have two firms come and have a look at that, and then also you've got the other issue of transfer pricing, and you've got the big accounting firms, uh, KPMG and uh, uh, Pricewaterhouse, and these people advising the aged care business, and it's not just the for profits, the not for profits as well, on how they can actually rent out homes, rent things back, do all sorts of things, creative accountancy if you like. I mean, that's why uh, Joe Ibrahim, as, who, who you've just heard from, is saying that look, no one really knows where the money goes and no one really knows exactly how much of that money ends up in the care of the individual. And if you go back and think about the Four Corners program, almost exactly two years ago to the day, it wasn't just the for-profits that were, were providing poor care, it was also the not-for-profits. In fact, I think we've actually got to question uh, the whole accounting and money trail of all of aged care. And that's why I think it's so important at the moment to actually do that, because if we're going to restore faith in the system, we have to know that the system can be forensically analysed and we've got to have transparency. And I'm afraid since 1997, it seems to be a free-for-all of deregulation.